Hey guys, this is Chubbs and I'm coming here today with another Doom Builder 2 tutorial video. This one will cover the Make Sectors mode or Make Sectors tool that's within Doom Builder 2 now. So to begin I'm just going to create just a regular square sector. The length and width of the sector doesn't really matter. So to show you how this tool would work, what it basically does is pretty much what the name says. It, it makes sectors out of, um, out of lines, pretty much. So for an example, let's create, let's divide this room in half. Normally, you would do something like this. You would go all the way around connect and there you go you have two sectors that divide the, the room but let's undo that another method you can use is to create a line that spans across the room like this however notice that it's not a separate sector this is where that tool comes into uh, comes into use so go up and it's to the left of the things mode icon. It's right here. Click it. Click it once. And now I'll click the sector that you want to create. And it will flash like that. Now go into sector mode. And you should have two sectors. You can even do this uh, to, to fix sectors as well. Like if you notice that a sector is broken or if it's not showing up correctly you can go into the make sectors mode tool and you can find the broken sector and as long as it has at least three lines that are connecting to form a closed shape you can click it and it, when it does that little flash like that that means that it's been turned into a sector then once you go into visual mode you can also you can verify it as you can see right there is the half that we've created raise it lower it change the brightness of it you can do whatever uh, you can even use this to create lighting for example like let's say we have a uh, let's undo that second sector let's say we have a torch that's on a platform up here I'm going to use the make sector tool again make that a sector so let's put a torch up here should be under light sources within things mode I'm going to make it a tall red fire stick put it right there let's make it so it's just barely fitting in this sector and then let's put sort of a pillar here in the middle it'll be sort of facing it like a in a you can think of it as a diamond facing the light source and then we're going to first create a line that stretches about like that connect it to it then do the same thing on this side but let's make it go back sort of like this and let's connect it to it you may have to make some adjustments that should be good for now notice see how it's not a separate sector though go into make sectors mode click that it flashes go into sectors mode and it's now a separate sector so to show you what this will do right there's the fire torch let's raise it up just a little bit let's darken the rest of the room not too much though let's brighten the fire stick sector Let's go ahead and raise the pillar up in the middle of the room. Just raise it up to the ceiling. Go ahead and cover all four sides with a texture, just a basic one. And now that it's got that, darken that sector that we created here. And once you've done this, notice how it's sort of a it's almost like a 3d lighting effect now the way that it creates a, a shadow back behind that sector 
So that's a useful tool to create effects like that. It's a little bit easier to do than normal. Uh, and if you wanted to, you can even, like in this mode, you can change this sector so it flashes or it blinks randomly. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the make sectors mode in a nutshell. That's it. It practically that's it does what it says. It makes sectors for you. And it's going to help you a lot if you have sectors that don't work or that aren't already sectors, and you don't have to go back and retrace their uh, shape or their dimension just to turn it into a sector now. So if you have any questions about that, uh, be sure and let me know. And of course, thank you for tuning in.